I own a restaurant called Andre's Cucina and Polenta Bar, first polenta in Australia, or, or the world quite possibly. Um, we're a breakfast, lunch and dinner establishment uh, serving uh, shared cuisine and uh, regional Italian cuisine. I'm actually travelling through Europe, uh, saw a, a fantastic idea in Dublin, Ireland, maybe five or six years ago and thought that Adelaide had a bit of a gap in the Italian cuisine and the market for the Italian cuisine. So um, I uh, saw opportunity in Adelaide and, and that's what motivated me. I researched uh, current trends through Italy um, of regional cuisine and the history as well. Um, I found that uh, it, we, we had a long way to go in Adelaide to, to, um, in representation of regional Italian cuisine. So really uh, I travelled, uh, I studied the cuisine um, and I spent a lot of time on the actual business plan itself. Two years into business, uh, looking back, I wish I knew a lot more when we started. Uh, I, suppose I, was, I suppose I was a little bit green and naive, and I really didn't uh, see um, how hard it was going to be to actually manage people's characters, um, front of house management in a, in a pretty crazy and chaotic uh, restaurant. Before I started um, operating the business, I spent a lot of time on the business plan. Um, Try, it's, it's about trying to foresee problems that you're going to have. And when you're conceptualising um, your business and your ideas, your, your, your mind is quite chaotic with all these ideas and the business plan helps to actually mesh these together and I suppose it's a bit of a psychological safeguard in times of craziness. Keeping cash flow under control in a cash business like a restaurant is really difficult. Um, two years into it, I've learnt a lot of lessons about this. Um, of course, we have front of house and back of house purchases in a restaurant, and it's about keeping the managers uh, accountable for their purchases, and I continually set goals and targets for them. I'm always working on the business, I can't help it, it is actually a passion of mine. So uh, at night I'm going home constantly thinking about recipes. Um, I have magazines, books from all around the world on Italian cuisine because um, I find it really important to, to keep up to trends, what's happening in, in, in Australia, in Adelaide, but as well as that on a global sense as well.